Let's make Christmas star ornaments. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make star Christmas tree ornaments out of twine. These are so cute and they look very vintage, very farmhouse, and they have this beautiful homey appeal to them that is so special and I can't wait to show you how to make these. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not going to want to miss out. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make these super cute star Christmas tree ornaments. The materials that you're going to need to make your star Christmas tree ornament will include a jute twine. I actually found this three pack at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you can also find your twine at any craft store, Walmart, or online. I will include a link in the notes section below. Also, I will include a link in the comment section for your convenience if you would like to buy your twine online. You will also need a crochet hook size J10 or 6.00 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. That's all you're going to need to make your star Christmas tree ornament. Go ahead and gather all of your materials and let's head straight to actually making your ornament. Working with twine is slightly different than working with normal yarn because twine fibers do have more friction involved with their fibers and it causes a lot more of a grab. So with our stitches, we're going to need to be cautious to make our stitches a little looser than normal. Beginning with about a two inch long tail, we will make our slip knot, take our crochet hook, and we're ready to go. That's another reason why I am using a size J10 or six millimeter crochet hook, a larger crochet hook with a thinner material, a thinner yarn, thinner twine, because we do want our stitches to be a little looser. All right, the start is worked in rounds. For this particular round, usually I will say there's the chain two method or use of a magic ring, but the magic ring will be more challenging in this situation because of the twine. There's going to be grab. So when you go to pull that magic ring to tighten everything, you're risking the twine breaking. You're also risking your stitches sticking and not pulling tightly like you desire. So in this case, I recommend doing the chain two method one, two. Perfect. All right, for round one, you're going to make 10 double crochets in the very first chain. All right, so yarn over, insert your crochet hook into that first chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yes, the stitches will be loose and kind of all over the place, but that's okay. That's kind of the beauty with using the twine. So there's one. two, three, ten. Great. Okay. Once you've made your 10th double crochet, slip stitch into the very top of the first double crochet to close off your ring. And that is round one. For round two, you're going to chain one single crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Perfect. And then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Okay, in the second chain from your hook, make a single crochet. In the third chain from your hook, make a half double crochet. Fourth chain, make a double crochet. And in the fifth chain, make a treble crochet. So yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert into the, the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Skip this next stitch. In the following stitch, make a single crochet. There we go. 
And that's what we're looking at, this point. All right, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the second chain from your crochet hook. Half double crochet in the third chain. Double crochet in the fourth chain. And treble crochet in the fifth chain. Skip a stitch. Next stitch, single crochet. All right, chain five. We're gonna do this three more times to make three more of these triangle shapes. One, two, three, four, five. Repeating the same pattern, single crochet in the second chain, half double crochet in the third chain, double crochet in the fourth chain, and treble crochet in the fifth chain. Skip a stitch, next stitch, single crochet. All right, repeat that process two more times to complete the last two triangles for your star. And I will meet you after finishing that second triangle when you have five triangles on your circle here for your star, okay? Okay, last triangle, skipping one stitch. In the following stitch, I'm going to slip stitch. And that should be the same stitch that you slip stitched into in the very beginning to close. All right, so we have a star shape, but it's a little rough. That's why we need our row three. Row three really helps us to point everything, clean it up and just perfect it. For round three, we're going to slip stitch into each stitch up the side of the triangle. There should be a total of four stitches up the side of your triangle. You're going to skip the single crochet stitches that attached to your circle. So skipping the very first stitch, find the treble, move to the bottom of that treble stitch and slip stitch into the bottom of that treble stitch. Next stitch was a double crochet, slip stitch there, half double crochet, we slip stitch and your single crochet and slip stitch. So it should be a total of four stitches up the side of your star. One, two, three, four. Then chain one. And we move down the other side of your star, which should be a total of four stitches. Slip stitch one, slip stitch two, slip stitch three, slip stitch four. There's that single crochet stitch. We're gonna skip that. Move straight to finding that treble stitch. Slip stitch inside of that. One and two, three. And if you have to use your claw, that can be helpful. Four, so slip stitching four stitches up the side of the triangle. Chain one and slip stitching four stitches down the other side of the triangle. One, two, three, four. Skip that single crochet, move straight over to the next triangle. One, two, three, four, chain one and down four. One, two, three, four. Skip the single crochet. Up four. One, two, three, four. Chain one, down four. One, two, three, four. Skip the single crochet. One, two, 
three, four, chain one, and down four. One, two, three, four, and we've made it all the way around. So at that very last stitch, guys, slip stitch to close off our star. I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to cut a short tail. Yarn over, pull through the loop, pull tight to create a slip knot to finish. And there is your star. It's very rustic. All right, taking your crochet hook, insert into that same stitch, pull the yarn through the back, and then weave. So here's the tail we began with. Weave the tail you ended with in and out of the star until you meet up with the beginning tail. Once they meet up with each other, knot them together. Just like that. And cut off the slack, the long tails. You want about eight inches. So if you want to pull out a tape measure, you can, but it's not necessary. Roughly about eight inches. Okay. At the very tip top of one of the points of your star, poke through, grab the twine, pull it through, and eight inches will be perfect for you to wrap both yarns around your fingers. Pull through, slowly feed so that way you can control where the knot goes. And there you go. There you have something to hang it from a tree. And there's your star. If you would like to really firm up your edges, you can always use Mod Podge. That works amazing and it will stiffen up your star so it it's not so flimsy. And the Mod Podge glue will dry and then this star will be super firm. But that's up to you, not a requirement, just an option. I just wanted to share with you really quickly that I did make two different stars using twine. I found this twine right here at Walmart. It was more of a size three weight yarn. It was thicker. Here is the twine that I found at the Dollar Tree. It was more of a size two weight yarn, one to two, it's very thin. And this is the star that I made with this twine. So depending on the thickness of your twine that you use, your star can turn out a little more defined or your star can turn out a little more wiry, but they're both very farmhouse, very rustic, very beautiful looking stars made with this exact same pattern that I just showed you. So depending on the twine that you purchase, the twine that you find, if it's a bulkier twine, this is what your star will look like. If your twine is thinner, this is what your star will look like. So what do you think? You like them? Hopefully you found them simple enough and that you enjoyed this project. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I really hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.